Just take us back a little bit. You know, you met him when you were only 24, is that right? I had met him, like, previously when we used to go to a different club. Right. Um, but actually had re-met him when I was around that age. So you yeah. started a relationship. Yeah. What, what was he like? To start off with, he was an absolute angel. You couldn't have asked for a nicer, nicer person. You know, always bought you flowers, always, you know, really nice, took you to nice places. He had a bit of a reputation, though, as a bad boy. Oh, and, yeah. And a woman yeah. Eyes, didn't yeah. he? Big did, time. Did he, work, he worked at a nightclub, didn't yeah. he? Yes. Yeah, yeah he was point, a doorman. There was nothing there that made you think, oh, no. It, no, not like really. I mean, I mean like, if you look at the pictures of him now to when I was with him, he doesn't even look like the same person. He was actually quite a good looking man in them days. Yeah. yeah. But, so, what changed then? When did you first start um, noticing the changes in him? Probably about three months after I started seeing him. Mm. Was we had, I can't even remember what the argument was about, something trivial, and he slapped me. And you actually, when you first get the first slap, you think, you know, I oh, know that's not happening, you've got to go. But they, you know, how sorry he is, and he didn't mean it, and he'd never also, felt this way. Sorry to interrupt, but you were, you were pregnant already yeah. at this time, weren't you? At this yeah, point? I'd I'm fallen pregnant. pregnant almost straight away. But, um, and so, yeah, you actually do believe them when they say, that, you know, they're really sorry and you think, you know, it will, never ha it will never happen again. And then when it does happen again, you're so involved and you've already become part of that mm. puzzle in the bubble. You can't... There's and no, you've got there a baby no on the yeah. way. And I, I believe that he had children, uh, previous children, yeah. and he, he was a good father. He was a very good dad. Very good dad, yeah. That's the sad part. So that abuse got worse and worse, didn't it? Yeah. To, yeah. to what sort of level? And, of course, there's young kids watching, so we have to be careful. But... Um, daily beatings, burnt me cigarettes, um, rapes, all sorts of things. Why did you stay, John? It's the old cliche, you know, you, you do say to people, why, why were you there, why did you stay? But when you're in such an abusive relationship, they actually, like, mould your mind to that... He can convince you that you'd had an affair and you hadn't even left the house. Were you scared yeah. to leave? Terrified. You fought every day for your life. And he was doing all these things to you whilst you were pregnant, is that is Yeah. That right? mm. I just can't even imagine it. And, and at, at this point, so you're in a, an abusive relationship and I completely understand what you're saying. It's not easy mm. to even think about leaving, let alone to, to find the courage to leave. What was it that sort of made you feel differently towards him? You know, when did that turning point happen where you stopped taking the abuse and thought, this is wrong? Um, I was pregnant with my second child, my son, and Levi had already moved on to his next partner, and my daughter had been ill, and the hospital said she can come home, but you have to keep a fan on her to keep her cool. So the temperature, yeah. Yeah, so that's not a problem. Yeah. So Levi had come round with said person, demanding a fan, and I was... No, you know, and I'd, I kept him in contact, you know, about what was happening with my daughter. And he was like, no, 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 I want the fan, I want the fan. And I was like, you can't, you know, you're actually going to take it away from your daughter. It was not well, yeah. Yeah, and it just almost, like, just that, that's when... Instinct. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, you know, and we had an almighty fight on my doorstep. And I said, I was actually pregnant with his son at the time. And afterwards, the switch had just gone up and yeah. I thought, no, I'm not doing this but anymore. 